Hello my friends. Welcome to my video entitled Word Economics. Inflation of the word. Basically put is that you could be a trillionaire in Zimbabwe dollars. But if it costs you 12 trillion dollars to buy a cup of coffee, what the heck does it matter? The matter of fact is this is that words in themselves could also be devalued just like currency can be. When you're giving it willy-nilly and agreeing to things that you're not planning to do. So what happens in your mind is that it puts you kind of like in a stop pattern, in a state of mind where you know that when you gave your word that you're not keeping it. So it doesn't really matter if you give this word to yourself or you give it to others. But the challenge becomes like this, that oftentimes we are presented with options. It's like, hey, uh, can you do the this and this for me so and so right and a lot of people just to get the person out of their face and they don't want to make them feel bad they just say yes but not planning to keep the word so what happens is that people wind up avoiding each other it's like oh I don't want to feel uncomfortable because I didn't keep the word to the person but then if you say hey I'm not going to give any promises. If I get around to it, I get around to it. Or if it's really important, if you're going to say you're going to do it, you're going to do it. So that becomes a challenge with a lot of people. They wind up swearing to God, swearing on their kids, swearing on their lives, that they're going to keep their word. But by the time that a person has to do that, their word value is a zero. So just like with money systems, if you just have a printing press out of the thin air and you have no backing to it, like where, like economics, uh, actual productive capacity, backing it, then the, the value goes down to zero. And uh, it becomes a challenge sometimes when dealing with people that don't keep their word. And... I find it really hard because if you're the type of person that does keep their word, the people that don't and lie oftentimes, that is, that is another thing, it's, it's also called lying, that they can take advantage of your honesty. But you have to also understand that honesty is a strength, not a weakness. And people can't expect you to be weak or to be taken advantage of just because you're an honest guy so it just comes down to that think about all those times that you actually give the word heck you know I I'm guilty of that too but the key element is this is not until you've actually observed the situation and you are made aware of it it's like somebody tells you oh your hair is sticking up and you weren't aware of it you could go and fix it so it doesn't have to be an issue right now it takes five seconds to decide like hey why don't I just give my word a little bit less or don't give my word at all unless I'm planning to keep it but this way it's actually gonna empower you because you're actually gonna be keeping the word to yourself but the other trick is this is that you want to make giving your word easy enough then you know you could actually do it or if you can't do it be like hey I gave you my word to do so-and-so but I found that I have so-and-so to do I have other priorities I just can't do it but let me make it up to you you know dinners on me next time you know let me take you out to eat you know something like that so that puts you in a state of empowerment. It's okay to change it afterwards, but it's important to acknowledge it. It's like, hey, if you do break your word, that, hey, 
you're the one that messed up, you didn't look at all the circumstances, situations changed, or you changed your mind, you try to do your best to treat others the way you want to be treated. So imagine you were asking somebody to do something and they gave you the word. You would want them to, like, if they can't do it, just tell you. Don't be like, oh, weeks later, it's like, hey, you promised me to do so-and-so. Did you do it? And they're like, no, I, I've been avoiding to get, to tell you about it. So that's my point, is that don't let the same stuff of devaluation by giving something unbacked over and over and over again, which keeps people in a state of spiraling. People, one of the things that um, I've heard is this, is that character is following through on the decision long after the excitement and emotion of the moment has passed. So yes, it's very easy to go to a rah-rah rally and make that decision like, hey, I'm excited, you know, whether it's lose 50 pounds. Don't give yourself the word to lose 50 pounds if you don't believe that you can lose 50 pounds. If you've lost 50 pounds in the past, that's not a problem. But make it five pounds, okay? No, I, I could like cut down eating cake for a week or two weeks until like the, the five pounds is lost. And it puts you in a momentum cycle. So if you're gonna give your word, give it that you could keep it. And how do you keep it is by actually making it more simple for you to keep. So that's my um, objectivity on the word value.